What's happening, folks? Welcome back to another video. It's a pretty chilly morning here in Orange Beach, Alabama. Look at that. We've had some major storms come through the last few days and finally getting a break in the rain we can get out here and do some fishing and you know this time of year we like to concentrate around the passes which is good for all you spring breakers because it's easy access the first sign of spring is when these fish start gathering in the passes right here and so that's why we're doing a lot of pass fishing jetty fishing we'll do some beach fishing and uh, you know hopefully get on a good bite now today you know, they were catching some big redfish out here the other day when we were here. We could not get on them, so I'm kind of going back in hopes to maybe get a big red or something like that, or, you know, who knows, the Spanish may be here, sheep's head, you got a chance to catch everything out here right now. Unfortunately, this weekend, the temps are going to drop back to like 29, 30 degrees, man, so that's going to push things back a few days. Got me some fiddlers right here. Love fiddler crabs this time of year. Now, Bearded Brad is already out here. He's got some live shrimp, so we got a little mixture of baits. We're gonna see what these fish want. Look who I found, y'all. Ain't caught nothing as usual. Hey, I leadered a fish, so that one counts. Yeah, okay, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, look how many boats are out here this morning. This is incredible. That must mean the bite is good. Brad, and look, there's somebody hooked up over there. That means it's starting to turn on. We may have a pretty good day. I'm gonna start with a shrimp right here, and we've got all those boats throwing on the other east or west side of the jetties. I'm gonna try over here on the other side of the jetties just to, uh, just cause nobody's over here. All right. And the other day, this is where I caught some nice, fi uh, nice fish. We got some super slick rocks today, folks. Yeah, why do we never bring a net out here? I'm just curious about that. It's not very smart. All right, let's see if we can get one over here, folks. There was nothing on that side, and I should have known that because all the boats were over here, but I just had to try it because it was good the other day. And so I'm just going to fish in the crowd. Sometimes you got to do that. See if we can get bit. I got one, Brad. Yeah, I do. He's biting it. He's biting it. There he is. I got him. I got him. There we go. There's the first fish of the day. This does not feel like a... Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is. Come on. Get up here. That's a nice fish, guys. There's a nice fish. Oh, he got me. He's getting me in the rocks. Come on. Come on. I don't know. Shoot. Oh my goodness, hold on. I can't, I don't see him, okay. Yeah, mine broken, I I'm trying to get him to chill, okay. First fish of the day right here, of course, one to nothing versus Bearded Brad, because that's always the case. It counts when you leader a fish. <laughs> He's trying to act like Ron now. I leadered it. <laughs> that counts as a legal catch. I'm not keeping fish today anyway. Oh, you're not? No. All right, cool. All right, guys, let's go see if we can get us another one. They are biting. Oh, let's get down here. This is the tough part, is to do this without dying. Okay. All right, there we go. Got a lot of current, so... I'm having to use pretty heavy weights. I should, the boats are actually using two ounce and um, I should be using a two ounce, but I only have a one ounce. Oh, that may be a bite right there, y'all. I can't tell, it sure felt like one. Ah, golly, swing and a miss. That definitely felt like a bite. Maybe it wasn't. Let's see if I got a, uh, let's see if I got, no, that wasn't a bite. My shrimp is not bit. Bro, he caught one right down there on the jetty. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
That could have very well been a bite. It's hard to say. There he is. There's another one, guys. There's another one. Come here. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a better fish, I believe. Okay. Oh, that's a good one there. Uh-oh. He's trying to go in them rocks to keep him from... Oh, he just got in it. He just got in it. Golly. All right, I got him out. I got him out. That's a better fish there. That's a real nice one. Come here. Hey, you need to chill, bro. I have to go down here and get this fish, guys. Check him out. He's right between the rock crevices right here. Guys, there's fish number two right there going in the uh, live well. Turning out to be a pretty good day. We're going to get us another shrimp going. So one thing you got to do, folks, you catch a couple like that, you got to retie around these jetties because they will uh, fray your line up pretty bad. That's exactly what this fish here did. Let's get another shrimp out here. They're definitely biting shrimp better than they are biting fiddler crabs. I tried fiddler crabs and didn't get any bites. Golly, he must have came off. I definitely had a bite. Guys, we're either bit or... Yeah, I think we're on. Here, there he is. There's another one. Mitch. Of course I can land them. That's a nice one too, man. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dang. Come here, buddy. Get your head out of the water. There he is. That's a good one there. That's a real big one there. I'm gonna have to go down and get him, I guess. I may break him off right here, guys. Nope, I got him. Whew. Check it out, guys. Big old sheep right there. That's the biggest one of the day. I've already got two for dinner, so we're gonna release him. Thank you, cameraman Brad. Channel link down below in the description. Go subscribe. <laughs> Y'all can go check out uh, Bearded Brad, linked in my description below. It's a heck of a cameraman. Guys, we're just going to sit here and cheer Brad on. I'm not even going to fish. Or I'm going to be like your cheering section. <clears throat> Give me a B. Give me an E. <laughs> Give me an A. <laughs> Come on, dude. I've got you on camera right now. you got to catch one. So guys, in all seriousness, spring is amongst us. This is, this shows you, when you start seeing boats stack up at the jetty, sheep's head biting like this, spring's here. Unfortunately, it's gonna leave us in a couple of days because it's gonna be 29 degrees this weekend. He just hooked up, he just hooked up. Oh my gosh. Can he get him in? Let's go. Come on, Brad. Everybody's watching you. Y'all, this is this ain't looking good. This is not looking good. This is the hard part right here. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, why didn't you bring a net? Well, we like to do things the hard way. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. What are you doing? Where do you what happened? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, you Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. 
Guys, is that a is that a caught fish or not? Y'all let me know. Comment below and let me know. I hate sheep's head fishing. I'll show y'all a little secret when sheep's head fishing in shallow water like this. You want to? I love to use this Eagle Claw 084 number four straight hook. A lot of people use circle hooks to sheep's head fish, but this bad boy right here, you don't, you hardly ever miss them with it, and it's always been my favorite hook to use. One more and I'm done. Right here. All right. Where should I throw it? I think I should throw it right there. Yeah, that's gonna be the spot. All right, let's just kind of, kind of come tight with it. You from around here, man? What's up? Are you local? Iowa. Really? Yep. That's cool. Spring break? Yeah. Good deal. You can catch a lot of bluefish early in the morning here on that side. I come to this spot every, I was telling him this week every year, that's Spanish bathroom, bluefish, and then the sheep's head. That's all I know. Yeah. I don't know, Brad. I may be getting bit again. Yep, we're on. There he is. There he is. That's a good one there. That's a pretty good fish, and he's staying out just like I want him to. Come here, buddy. There he is, there's number four on the rocks. Oh! It doesn't count. Did lose that fish. All right, the, I, I, had the him, only one. I had him on land, but obviously it's hard to get him right here. So that, that's a lost fish, but you know, the main reason I did that is because I felt bad for Brad and I just oh, wanted, God. I just, I mean, I, I, was look, I, I was looking out for you. I appreciate the sympathy there. Yeah, you know, I was uh, supporting you emotionally. Oh, he's on again. He's on again. Oh, oh, right when I said that. Oh, gosh, that's a good one. We don't know. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's still not a caught fish. Go get him for you. I'm going to go get him for you. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on, dude. I got him, dude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, hold on. Brad, I got him for you, dude. <laughs> In all seriousness, bro, that was a hot bite. Dude, that was insane. Seriously, when I first got there, like I was about to call you because it was every boat, there was at least one boat hooked yeah. up the entire time. Oh yeah, no doubt. That and then when I got there, we finally, uh, you know, I caught three pretty good ones real quick, lost a few more. Brad got, you know, two or three. Yeah and uh ended up being we've we've got to get us a net dude wait guys we're getting a net we're getting <laughs> i don't a net. know why we don't we're getting a net dude